I'm going to take a wild guess that Jim Norton is shitting. Oh, yeah. Big yeah. shitter. I would imagine that, but... Roland's photographing it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the payback. Yeah. <laughs> Tables have turned. Mark Norman is here. Ron Bennington is here. We were just talking about the Voss Roast, which yeah. we still encourage people to buy. Yesterday, Voss took his shirt off on the show, promising, oh. and we promised him that people would buy... The roast if he took his shirt off. And people did. I, I saw a bunch of you guys sending Voss and Bonnie stuff uh, with the receipt from you buying the thing, uh, the roast, at, at VossRoast.com. He looks amazing for 71. He is <laughs> killing it. That's why we try to get him to take his shirt off every Ripped. time. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Well done. I like to see him get some new jeans, though. Those things are a little tattered. Yeah, oh, there are holes in them. Yeah. That's the, that's the problem. White belt, though, is cool. But is you were, so, Mark, did you see the roast? I popped in on a little bit and it was amazing. Yeah, Quinn was murdering when I was there, and then I had to run. But yeah, I can't wait to buy it. Yeah, I uh, I came that was supposed to be the party, the birthday party after, and the time that I got there for the party, there was still like four or five people to go, and I'm like everybody was killing, and like Big J was going last, and I'm like, oh shit, man, this room might be laughed out. He fucking destroys, and then I'm like, oh poor Voss, he's got to follow all this after three hours. Voss destroys. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And Voss was saying yesterday that he was nervous going up there. Yeah. But his saving grace was that uh, Kumi has started heckling him oh, from the audience. Look at and, that. Yeah, I was like 10 feet away. Anthony was annihilated that night. Yeah, he <laughs> was. <laughs> he was going to remember it, but it was very funny. Voss felt really good about it, and uh, he did He did confirm that he left that in the edit. He absolutely. Of course. Oh, of <laughs> he course. Absolutely. Yeah, he attacked Kumi like an angry black woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was, we were talking about uh, Florentine and uh, the reason why his set was so good. And I think the reason his set was so good was just because of how much he was getting annihilated leading up to it. Because yeah. they were talking about his ex, his ex that cheated on him, the ex that killed herself, like all this stuff. And you ha kind of had this feeling of, I don't see how Florentine's good. I don't see how any person would come back from all this. Right. And he just comes up and effortless, effortlessly destroys everybody on the stage. Well, he's a wow. killer. He yeah. was great. He's that roast, he was amazing on the roast. Yeah. Well, he was, he, he said Were you this, shitting, Jim? I just treated myself to a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you pee, you realize the, 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 like the, the back There's door, more. you're like, eh. And I'm There's like, more. you know what? Why hold it in? Let's go sit down and relax. Yeah. There's, There's yeah. only one stall taken. Second yeah. time this week, you've gone in for a number one and found out it was a number two. I can't help it. You're just standing there and your system is kind of jostling around. I'm like, you know what? Treat yourself. Yeah, you're, did you're you right. have to go from urinal over to the toilet? Yeah, I finished up in the urinal. Wow. I fucking backed right into the bowl. Yeah. Look at that. It's good. You, you piss with your pants around your ankles. I always do. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do the old XM building. On I would 57th drop my Street. pants all the way around my ankles and pee like a child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't even hold it. You just press your dick forward. I saw an old man in the fucking gym with his pants like down to mid thigh, and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? That's an old man move. You're a grown up. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I was at a, a fucking football game with a guy that I know, and he fucking dropped his pants down like that, and there had to be. 70 of us in the fucking men's room and he had his pants down to his fucking knees while he was taking a piss. Why did people his whole do that? Ass what the was hell? That? What's the purpose of that? Right. And why am I embarrassed? Because my friend's doing that. Yeah. Right. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Like and nobody, ladies. everybody wants to say something but you can't because then like, why are you looking? Yeah. You know? Right. And right. it wasn't a goof. It was just, this is what I do in no, public toilets. No, we were very well known in that town. We had a big radio show. Oh my mm. God. I would never want my balls out. Why do you want your balls out? Well, you have giant balls. <laughs> Crazy balls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that, I think. Real gross, long, Are they, are they longer sack. than this? One of them is. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, my, God. my arms are as wide apart as I can make them. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are as tight as an 11-year-old boy. I don't are know they? how really? I do it. Yeah. Wow. Just nice and tight. Good those for are, you. Yeah, those the those... doctor said he's never seen anything like it. <laughs> That's because you do the kegels, right? <laughs> No, I don't do anything. Wow. Just, uh, well, I, I have some Swedish blood, and they oh, said that's very, very helpful. Yeah. You have a nice tight bag? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unbelievable. Huh. You can light a match on it. We, uh, Mine gets tighter when I have to poo. Does it? Do you ever get that? No. no. Uh, geez. You might have shit in your balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. No, I that's just because sack. your balls don't want to dangle in the toilet because they probably know, so they fucking suck up to protect themselves. That's what? a great call. I think my body runs hot, and your, my balls have to get away from the heat, so they hang low. 
I Probably. See. That's in, in your medical opinion. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't yeah. that the, the, the entire reason why that organ is on the outside? Yes. yes. That's right. That's the entire reason. That's why reason. your balls in the summer get fucking loosey and loosey goosey. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yes. And they, <laughs> loosey? Yeah, my balls are all loosey goosey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you ever di dive in the ocean? Your balls just fucking just shoot into your totally. body? You know, it's nice it's and like, cold. Yeah, it's like a fucking fright. Like, I hope they fucking pop back down again. <laughs> I hate oh, that God. God. <laughs> well, you're getting jerked off and your balls are in your body and it looks like you have no nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've seen that in porn. That, that's when you like it more, when it's humiliating. Yeah, I right. really do. When they're like, oh, he's better. And they're slapping my dick. <laughs> Speaking of humiliated, yeah. did you see uh, the update on the on the kid, who, the 30-year-old that got kicked out of his house? I did. Yeah, he's doing well. He yeah. has, uh, the, you remember the guy in Syracuse? No. You didn't hear about the story that his know. parents took him to court and had no. him evicted? No. Yeah. Sounds like he, a he hero. He move out. Yeah, he's a good boy. So the guy, uh, yeah, and then I believe... Wasn't he pressing charges against his parents? Yes. For the stolen Abuse. Legos? Abuse. No, but they, they got the Legos back. <laughs> they they did get the Legos back. He's, he's suing uh, Best Buy. What? That, well, yeah, that's, that's, that's in the update. So this guy lives in Syracuse. He's been with his parents. He's been having a tough time moving out. So his parents finally had enough of him, and they took him to court, and they had him evicted. And the nice. court said, you have to leave today, which he was, like, flabbergasted, but he didn't yeah. understand that at all. But he's been living in an Airbnb... Uh, and and working for room and board. Now the uh -huh. uh, his parents said, "Your Honor, he looks like a white kid who's moved to India." You know, what <laughs> <he's> that? <laughs> it's that fucking look for some reason. <laughs> now, uh, all right, what's today? Today's the 20... today's the twenty first. All right. By December 31st, this kid hangs himself. That's it. Yeah. Let's hope so. There's my fucking thing. Hold this tape, okay? Hold it, Travis. So, so, so that way, pop it out. if the police are suspecting murder, Ron Bennington right. is the place to go. <laughs> I just know, I've been through this with people like Mike Rotundo before. What, wasn't he a fucking wrestler? Or when our shyster? Yeah. Very similar name, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he has a kid, though, so he I, might not. By the way, I texted you yesterday, I don't know if you got it, I said I'm sorry about Vader. I know I, that was a rough one. No, I didn't get that text, oh, yeah. but it would have yeah. helped in my yeah. moment of weakness. <sighs> not that Vader. Oh. <laughs> you know what's... You know what's <laughs> That was seriously fucking strange and hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear the name. Yeah. Was that you that was tweeting yeah. out, now it will always be Vader time? No, that was Fezzi. Oh. Fezzi literally sent me that text. I could pull it out. He did? Yeah, he wrote, I guess it is Vader time. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It was a wrestler named Vader. He said, it's Vader time. Big Van Vader. Oh. Big Van Vader, and he passed away, and... A lot of wrestling fans were tweeting out, now it will always be Vader time. I see. He was the guy who tore off the ear. Uh, what's his name? He here? did. He yeah. was, yeah, Mick Foley was wrestling him when he got his ear torn off. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Holyfield. That's, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Paul Stanley. That's right. Look Paul at that. Big boy. Never Big heard boy. of him. Big you know, guy. I was in the arena the night that Holyfield's uh, fucking ear got bit off. Oh, oh yeah? And it turned into a madhouse. No one ever brings it up. People went running into the fucking casino Turning over fucking tables, the fucking shots rang out. The MGM never right? made, yeah, never made the fucking news. Huh. Why did people go crazy like that? Ah, uh, we were just all caught up in it. And they then, bit you his know, ear off. Yeah, they bit his ear off, and people were furious, you know, because people had money on it. Oh yeah, and then this was also like, wow, geez. yes, I didn't realize he here. took that much off. Yeah, oh, wow. a lot of cartilage yeah. gone. Oh my god. And fights broke out all over. Like, people were so... No, it's not that I much. I don't know if you've ever been to a big prize fight like that. It, the, the fucking tension is through the roof. Oh, really? Yeah, you just I guess never because know. there's so much money on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, two guys about to beat each other. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's almost... It takes you back to, like, when you were in school and everybody ran out next to the bike racks to see the fight. That's the best moments of your life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Adrenaline is pumping. Just yeah. chaos everywhere. I got my ass kicked on one of those... Uh, you know, three o'clock by the yeah. Oh no! What happened? By the bike what did you, you know it was coming, bad? I uh, I pants. Was a it kid, Doug Benson? And then he pants me, and then we What's got pants me. You know, you you pull the pull pants, pants down. down. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we had to we had to go at it. I mean, and he was like he was beaten by his parents. He was one of these like oh, the wrong yeah. side of the track fucked up kids. So he he had no shame or fear. He was just like ah, I know all I know is violence. Right. And, he, and I was like a you know cute douche. So he beat you up? Oh yeah. In front of everybody. Were you embarrassed? Oh, yeah, it's brutal. It's not, yeah. It's like Hardwick. You can't live it down. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can't live it down, right? No, you just, every day, you're like, oh, you're the guy who got beat up But did, Mickey. Did, did you guys, what was his name? Mickey, he was Irish. Did you guys yeah. see each other after that? Oh, yeah, we were cool, and we made friends, but, you know, 
He always knew he beat you up, and he knew it. Yeah. But it wasn't so, a close fight? I got a few in, but he was just vicious. I mean, the kid had bruises on him from his uncle. Did you get into a lot of fights? Uh, I got knocked out pretty good once. How so? I got a uh, Mardi Gras parade. We got into a fight with these college kids. Oh, I think I know this story, yeah. Really? No, I, well, I, I think you've told me. Oh. Yeah. And then it all broke up, and then I was ha- hanging out with, you know, later talking to a girl, and the girl goes, what's this guy doing? And I turn, he was running, and he just hit me, and I saw white, passed out, and pissed myself. That's cool. That's I woke great. up in a guy's lawn covered in urine, and I woke up to my friends fighting this guy. Did you wow. fuck that girl? Yeah, I did, actually. Wow, she <laughs> fucked you after you got beat up and urinated on yourself. Oh, you should have married her. What a good egg. Yeah, she went sympathy fuck. I, that's awesome. I've lived life for that for 49 years. Yeah. <laughs> <Sympathy> fucks. <laughs> I got knocked out one time when I was a kid. A fucking grown man fucking knocked me out. What? And I wake up. I'm on the hood of his car, and the fucking guy that knocked me out is waking me up going... Wake up, kid, please, wake up. He was fucking freaked out <laughs> that, you know, he was going to go to jail forever. Why did he knock you out? He uh, punched you or he hit you with something? No, he punched me. Uh, we were uh, eating lewds, me and this buddy and these two girls were out at a reservoir. And we How were old fucking, were you? like 14 or 15, uh-huh. and my friend was 16. And he was driving like a fucking maniac. Uh, and uh, we just weren't aware of it. We were just like laughing and fucking grabbing tits, and he fucking smacked into this guy's car. So I'm in the back seat with this other girl. I look up, and I see my friend getting knocked on the fucking ground. And I just jump up and say, uh, hey, hey, you know, I'm fucking running towards the fight. And that fucking dude just clocks me. <laughs> you know, just clocks me. And when you're fucking downed out like that, too, it's like you don't put your hands up. You know what I mean? Like right, everything right. is, you know, and... For fucking three days, my jaw's like this, like a fuck. Yeah, oh, wow. Fuck. So wait, he wakes you up on the hood, he's panicking? Yeah, he fucking picks me up, carries me to the hood of his car. I was like, wake up, wake up, kid. And I'm fucking, I'm looking at the guy who just knocked me out. And what did he say when you woke up? He's you... like, I got a fucking temper, I'm sorry, you all right? You know, <laughs> he was fucking apologizing his ass off. Wow. Yeah. He probably well, saw how young you were. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I was a fucking baby face, and I was like, yeah, I got in some shots too, you know. We did both you? did all right. No. <laughs> and I, I never lifted my fucking hands. He knocked both your glasses off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, that's the thing, like, when you're younger like that, you don't take it personal. Right. Like, all my best friends, we fought before we became friends. There you in go. my neighborhood. We yeah. had a fight, huh. and then we became buddies. I guess if you fight regularly, it's probably not that embarrassing when you lose one. Because you're right. going to lose. It's not. What's to be embarrassed about? You're in a fight. Right. The fucking point is, and your dad teaches this when you're a kid, fight enough that you're not the guy that's easy to fight. Uh-huh. What you want to do is like, oh, it's not fucking worth it to take that kid's money. You know what I mean? Right. It's will go on for a while. Yeah, he's going to put up a fight. Yeah. So you, the, a bully will fight somebody that won't fight. Right. Bully doesn't want to be in a good fight. You're trying to avoid it. Yeah, somebody looking to avoid a fight is going to give you their money. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's one thing. I couldn't fight. Not a tough guy, but I I would fight. You good at so yes. like, Yeah, yeah. Don't fuck with him. He'll scratch you. But yeah. you had to watch. I was I was watching a, a subway video recently, and you know, people like these moments in life. They're like, ah, two guys fucking fighting like on a subway steps, and the little guy was kind of the big guy was uh, they had him pressed up like against where where the uh, the information booth is. Mm-hmm. And the little guy is like sneaking in and like I get get a couple shots in, and the other guy bites his face. Oh. Yeah, and he bit a piece of his lip off. Wow! What? I'm like, that's what happened. Like, that's what real life is. Yeah. Like yeah. In the movies, there's like two guys duking it out. Real life is a guy wraps his arms around you and bites your lip. It's literally used to, you know where we always uh, if you're in that kind of a bar fight and you would bite right here, right above the eyebrow, because that just opens up and blood goes yeah. very very soft. Yeah. And you bite. And blood comes out, and the whole fight's over. I'd be scared to get my teeth knocked out with a headbutt, though, to get them that close. I would go for the nose, bite the nose. Yeah? yeah. That's the old wrestling trick, to bust them open right above the eyebrow. Right, yeah. right, right. Because it's easy to break the skin, and it bleeds But they everywhere. also would go high on the forehead, too, right? That's where they cut. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if they were going to do it, like, they were going to hit you to bust you open, it would be the eyebrow. And then if you were going to cut yourself with a razor blade, then it's the So forehead. is that the hard way, or is hard that planned? Ways. Like, when they do the eyebrow. It'd be planned. I mean, it'd be hard way, but it'd be planned. How Fuck. would they? How would you, they just know they're gonna hit you hard enough to open you up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it hard way. That would be what it would call. I would never. And they would just hit you down. There's this clip from. Uh, I would hate that. WrestleMania 20, I think, 
where Mick Foley is trying to get Randy Orton to do it to him. Mm-hmm. And Randy's like a young guy, so he didn't grow up in an era when that was happening. Has Mick been open the hard way? Oh my sure. God. Many times. But in this clip, like it's not working. Randy's not hitting him in the right spot. Yeah. So you're just watching Mick Foley just, just get hit in the head over and over again. Mm. With like just these blunt, like why isn't he busting open hits? I, I'd rather Blade than have somebody punch Absolutely. me in the fucking face like oh, that. Yeah. Absolutely. But Mick's, he, Mick's been open hard way a few times. He has yeah. been open hard way, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> once you've you've done that stuff to your head, then it'll start to happen right away anyway. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah, the guys like have the, the scars of, like, uh, Flair, mm-hmm. his was just start bleeding even for no apparent reason. <laughs> Every he's match. Just, he's just yeah. thinking. Yeah. Dusty, <laughs> Dusty, yeah. Dusty Rhodes would do it too. Yes. Like, his, his forehead huh. by the end of it looked like... Uh, Magic Chop me. Uh-huh. Well, when you're up close with those guys, it's mm-hmm. really horrific looking. Yeah. I haven't seen any of them up close that I can, or, or haven't looked. Yeah, once you know. Yeah, like, yeah look at that photo, the third photo in. Yeah. Oh, you can wow. Comp- like, that's. Look yeah. at that. You know what I mean? And that's, that's from years of every single yeah. night doing it. Right. Yeah, that's how you can tell a wrestler and you can tell him a jujitsu guy by his ears. Exactly. Yeah, the, coll- the, the cauliflower ear. Yeah. Now, the, uh, some of those guys will let somebody else open them up. I'm yeah. Like, Fuck that. I'll yeah. do it myself. He said uh, when uh, Stone Cold and Bret Hart wrestled, Stone Cold had Bret open him up, which you're never really supposed to do. Why? Because he trusted him? Austin trusted him, yeah. Yeah. How would he open him up? Like, take a razor blade out and cut him. They keep like, like, you most know of the they, time they the guys their fingers they keep a little tiny razor blade in there yeah. at a certain point and they just go like this across the forehead and that blood will open and but they would keep it in their hand the whole time yeah they well they'd keep it in their tape so it'd be yeah. in their wrist tape or in their finger tape or whatever it is it'd be like a little sliver of a razor blade how they not they cut just, how they not get hurt doing that because they wrap it in tape and then they put the blade on top and then they wrap that in tape but a lot of times then they'll just chuck it on the mat and then afterwards. the referee has to go pick yeah. it up and put it in his pocket or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's what they do they'll untape it they'll use it they'll just throw it. Man. And then, yeah. Tough guys. It's they crazy. really are. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. What they put themselves through. We uh, we used to do wrestling stuff, like, with the Independent League and then some WWE fucking stuff. And uh, so they go, oh, come in and train. And you're like, okay, now how do I do that without, you know, without it hurting? They go, oh, it's going to hurt. Yeah. Here, but here's how you do it. Yeah. So you don't get injured. But it's going to hurt every time. And I'm like, but how do you do the thing with the slaps in the chest? Oh no, it hurts. It hurts. Right. So just it just fucking hurts. That's like when people try to figure out like how do they whip each other when they when they whip each other with the belt, and those right. those welts start to show up on the back. How do you do that? Yeah. Like, well, you take a belt, the belt <laughs> off your pants, right. you whip, you whip someone with it. <laughs> you know what really fucking hurts is going off the ropes. Oh those yeah, fucking ropes have are just like metal with a little rubber. Uh, right. So you like you're like, oh, I'm in the ring, I'm gonna bounce off the ropes. You're like, fuck. Yeah. Well, you see, you see, like the new guys. Somehow yeah. your body just adjusts to it and gets yeah. used to it. But like when you start, you can see they end up with these big like red, bleeding, bloody, like, ring rash is what they call it. Yeah. Because they've just been hitting the ropes right here over and over again. Are there again. guys that hit the ropes every match? I mean, everybody hits the ropes every match. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did a thing, because we were doing, like, a dark match before one oh, of the come on, things. Man. It's because it was a bad neighborhood. And you could say that back then. You could call things a dark night. So, like, somebody gave me, like, a fucking lariat. And, uh-huh. you know, so my legs go up. But I didn't tuck my head. Oh. And I fucking land. And my head hits the mat. So I jump up. And it's that thing where you're dizzy. And I'm like, I think I'm going to throw up in front of 20,000 people. <laughs> and I just had to act like I was yelling and stuff. But I wasn't even making any noise. That's just, <laughs> but I was thinking, don't throw up, dude. That's Don't a, fucking start spinning. That would have been amazing if you puked in the ring. Yeah. yeah. Quickest way to get it. By the way, a dark match happens at the beginning of the show. So yeah. now the whole pay per view happens with Bennington puke on the mat. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know who can fight is uh, Doug Benson. Is that right? Oh, sure, yeah. he can. Love you, Doug. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he doesn't split the money, though, does he? No. No, 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 no. no mm-hmm. winner. Win- <laughs> he keeps the purse. Winner gets the purse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, yeah, oh, that's Doug. the quickest way to get a concussion is to not know to tuck your chin. CM Punk made a wrestler puke. Let me see that. <laughs> and every one of you for joining us. On and so it's headshots. It just it just it knocks you completely. Man, look at that place is sold out. You can hear. I know, right? Oh, they didn't show the puke. There's like three people in the audience, and they've piped in all this, uh, all these crowd sounds. Is this new CM Punk? No, this is very very old. Who's who now? 
CM Punk is in the yellow. Oh, oh he threw up all he over. He just projectiled on the floor. And this other guy is just a young indie guy. I don't know who he is. Oh, no. He this is up. literally open mic wrestling. Right. Yeah. This is a bringer. There's only other fucking wrestlers are the only people watching this. Was it a headshot? That's got to feel pretty good to make the other guy puke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done that different ways. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so I've seen guys puke, but a lot of times, too, at shows like this, guys are puking because of their extracurricular activities as yeah. well. Not just because they're getting shots to the head. How uh, old is that? This? This is probably 15. It's 2005. 15, almost 15 years old. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. Man, that's badass. Yeah. Oh, Matt Seidel is the guy. Yeah, he went on to also be a big... Uh, Big wrestler. Do you know who he is? Mm-hmm. I've never heard yeah. of him. I, well, I know how, who a lot of the guys are. Let's uh, let's go to what we were going to go to before. Let's go to the uh, update on this 30-year-old. Ah, gee. Uh, who? The 30-year-old who got thrown out. 30-year-old who got thrown out. The guy. Out. The 30-year-old who got Rotundo. thrown out of his uh, parents' oh, house. Oh, yeah, yeah, Rotundo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Love there you Rotundo. go. Can there you imagine go. this guy in the 50s? <laughs> this would not last. No, it wouldn't. No, it ah, wouldn't. Ah, things were different back then. You got that right. The New York Post went and found him in the Airbnb that he's living in in Syracuse, and uh, they caught up with him. News was crap. I just need enough time. I don't. I don't need very much. You keep saying that, but uh, you've had eight years. Uh, yeah, the news had a field day with him. They did. They loved, you know, because he became the guy that you you can bully and get away with it. Uh, so everybody on the news was like, "Oh, these millennials, you're so lazy." But right. you know what I mean. They well, loved. he was a bit of an ass. But he, he, oh, trust me, he deserved it. But he, but you know who I blame on this? I blame the parents. Me too. It's their fucking responsibility. They brought this into the world. If you have a fucking special needs kid, you have to take care of him forever. You can't go. He's eighteen now. Right. I took him. A, this fucking kid can't handle himself. It shouldn't be our responsibility. Any yeah. parent? Sure. Oh, I don't know, Ron. That's a little cold-hearted. I disagree. <laughs> It's and why sue him? Just kick him out. Right. Any parent that has so little... Leave. He's got so, so what? My dad would kick my ass. Right. They've got so little respect from their kid uh -huh. that they have to take him to court. The government has to get involved. That's they're, true. They're total That's failures. Crazy. Yeah, they're, they're failures. Total failures. He was That's down parents. in the cellar and he was fucking pretending he had a talk show. Like, Mom, <laughs> doing something. No, no, that's um, from a movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know what? You're right, Jimmy. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. You got confused on that one, Ron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Fucking Jeff knows movies. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff knows what? movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing that podcast. Yeah, that no, one pays. Jeff yeah. knows movies. Yes, two thousand dollars. Hey, wow. I, I'm not even making a big deal about this, but you really didn't get paid that night. Ah, <laughs> shit I got fourteen hundred bucks. Yeah, jeez, yeah. that's the uh -huh. whole door. <laughs> you got all of it. Bringing back memories from other radio shows. Now, who knew? Yes, we're getting paid. Uh, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not get paid on that show? Not a dime. <laughs> oh, you were on a lot. Yeah, Vic Henley bought a house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still go on? <laughs> I haven't been on. No, I don't know where he is. It's uh. Let's go back to... I'm sure he's let, doing just fine. Let's oh, go, yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Let's go back to Michael Rotondo. <laughs> this has decided it's finally time for Michael Rotondo to move out of his parents' New York home. I he looks like a Hasidic Jew. He does. He was a 30-year-old and made international news. Where are you headed? Uh, off to an Airbnb. <laughs> Why Michael's dumb been music on his own. <laughs> yeah, gotta have it. Yeah. So you just clean them. Since I left my parents' house, it's been a little chaotic. I've been sleeping at Airbnbs. How I got this Airbnb was I show up and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm looking for a cheap place to stay. For this a while. is dummy music. Like, oh, <laughs> well, I think that they're trying to portray him as a dummy. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Yeah, yeah. Tink. <laughs> this little pan tink. Yeah. Ting. <laughs> And I love that he, he just keeps doing interviews. He won't yeah. say no to media. He won't stop. Every time the media is like, hey, yeah. look at idiot over here. It sounds yeah. like Harold Ramis. Well, I moved out with my parents' house. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah. Put up a fence. Yeah. Put up my fence. You can stay here for nothing. So. Mike dug all these holes for me. All right. He's yeah. working. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Dug a hole. Plus, he's going to eat a pussy. And <laughs> <laughs> That's a euphemism. <laughs> doing this stuff in exchange to stay here? Yeah. Oh. It works out really well. Michael now spends his days working on his discrimination lawsuit against Best Buy, sure. his former employer. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Which he should. What's the discrimination? They'll get to it. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Is he black? <laughs> no, he is not. His, he has an eight year old is. son that he, had, uh, that he had out of wedlock. Oh. I don't know why he had to add that in. That he. Uh, that it, that's always the kid's lived. Face? 
Yeah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He's a Dick Tracy villain. <laughs> With his former flame. So the, the, the woman has the kid. Sure. Which she probably should. I was harassed with my parenting time with my child, and that happened to me and not single female parents. Oh, True. oh interesting. I was a True. single male parent. I'm seeking almost $400,000. I reasonably don't have to worry about a lot after that. What do you say to the people that are saying, you're lazy, you're waiting around for this big windfall of money that you may not get? I'm going to get it. You can get houses for fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. I could get a part-time job somewhere and make $24,000 a year. And just live in that house. Yeah, he's right. He has yeah. got it all figured out. Yeah, I don't together. know why anybody would think he's an ass. He makes yeah. sense. Yeah, and I do like too that he's like, hey, here's the plan. What I'm gonna he... build this fence until yeah. they kick me out. But in the meantime, I'll get my four hundred thousand from Best Buy, yeah. and then I'll be set for life. Buy a he's house. Buy a house for what? 50, Where's he moving? Sixty grand. Where's he moving? Baltic Avenue. <laughs> <Shit> on, <dude. laughs> do you think that's why he was fired? Because, because yes, I think he's probably a great employee. <laughs> you think so? Because discrimination nope. uh, against him parent? as a single male parent? Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think so. It's because he got caught playing Dungeons and Dragons at <laughs> fucking Best Buy. <laughs> They're for my kid! They're mm. all out of the box. <laughs> what would you say to your parents right now? Nothing. And they turned your life upside down. There's really nothing I can say to them about that. I mean, there's really nothing to be like, hey, nuts to you. I don't think my relationship with my parents will ever really be mended. I hope they're happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, hey, he has his bike. Oh, good. Yeah, it looks cool. He's jumping the curb. Yeah. <laughs> my parents stopped feeding me in like December, so I've been, you know, buying my own food, preparing my own food for That's great. a long time. Since December. Oh, wow. Tomatoes. Hey, man. This guy's been making his own food for the last seven months. Yeah. So don't make jokes. He's 30, okay? That fucking, that, no, does the state force him to wear that helmet wherever he goes? <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a bike helmet in the store. <laughs> Who the hell rides their bike to the store and then leaves the helmet? And by the way, the strap, the chin strap is still on. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. two chin straps. He leaves his helmet on while he's food shopping. <laughs> One is to hold this fucking jaw together. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he get a job as a grocery bagger? It's not a bad idea. Right? You'd mm -hmm. probably pick up some decent money, buy a fucking house for 15000 <laughs> <laughs> I'd get a car for six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> he's like Daniel Curlin with money. Yeah. He's like... He, he's fucking Rain Man. He has no idea how much stuff costs. I'll bet if the grocery store went to him and is like, we'll give you $15 a week if yeah. you work every day. And he, yeah. Really? Yeah. I'll take that job. Ask somebody about that. How many ounces are in a cup? <laughs> <sighs> I just ask you a stupid question, but you just take the bullion. He's going to get a reality show. You can see this I know. now. Uh, and I'm going to watch it every off. week. Pisses you know me what? Off. You're not wrong. A reality yeah. show. Yeah, he tries to. Uh... He's just going up to strangers and asking him about bullions. Yeah. Maybe he oh makes a good God. bullion base. Meanwhile, his kid so. is making a full breakfast every day for himself. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Up a broth, right? I gotta do all my cooking in the bedroom. His kid is like that cute kid in Forrest Gump at the end of the movie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's got AIDS. Really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got it from the mom. <laughs> yeah. She passed it along. That old dumb short hair. Yeah. That fucking AIDS do. <laughs> Robin Wright Penn. You know, That's fucking right. uh, Michael Che said something to me about that movie. I'll never forget. He goes, what if it was the other way and it, this fucking guy just kept coming back and having sex with a retarded girl? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like oh. When you're thinking about it, you're yeah. like, what the fuck was Robin Wright Thinking in that movie. Well, she didn't want. Here's the thing. Forrest hung out with her all that time. She didn't want to fuck him. She finally did because they were friends since childhood. So she finally threw the big dope a little puss. I see. <laughs> yeah. Then she went out and caught the hiv and said, "Hey, why don't you move in, <laughs> stupid?" <laughs> right. Nobody treated her well except the yeah. Downsy yeah. guy. Yeah. Was that what his? Was yeah. that what was wrong with Forrest? Was it Down syndrome? Yeah. It was something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She hated his bag because he was always running and his balls smelled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, this would have been perfect for Doug, Doug Loves Movies. I sure would have. I would have yeah. a Forrest Grant. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Forrest oh, Grant. Oh, <laughs> Jim. Forrest yeah. Grant. Yeah, he's Mary Tyler Moore's <laughs> You're Peppy. I hate Peppy. How about the scene where his mom fucked that superintendent, the principal? Yeah. <laughs> that was heavy. Yeah. yeah. And hot. Yeah. Fuck it was cunt. a strange children's movie. Yeah, yeah. it really was. Yeah. Let's go back to Mike. Yeah, cunt. What is browning meat? What is browning meat he wants Eight to know? Eight to ten minutes. Jeez, this is gonna take a while. I hate this guy. He's yeah. terrible, isn't he? I think, not supposed to. I think he's gonna take cool. the chicken. I'm gonna put it back on the same surface. Why he's of great? The uncooked chicken. He's got a oh. too. No, the air conditioner's on. All I need is a can opener. He's gonna get sick and die. Hopefully. Burn. Can I borrow a can opener? I don't have a chef's knife. Thank you, Fern. You're welcome. It doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be edible. 
It's gonna smell like onions in here tonight? Uh, yeah. I love onions, though. Well, of course you do. There it is. Why are you taking so oh, fucking long right. to make this shitty food? What the hell is wrong with him? I couldn't do what he just did. Uh, I couldn't either. Yeah. Would you probably put the chicken back on the uncooked chicken surface? Yes. But I can pay I rent. I would have eaten off that plate. Oh, with all the chicken juice on it? Yeah. yeah I would drink the chicken juice. Good for you. You're so hardcore, man. I like a nice You're cup so of chicken. Crazy. Yeah. You chill it in the fridge for two hours, then you drink your fucking chilled chicken juice. Wow. Is it good? You're Delicious. like Ozzy. Oh, wow. yeah. That way you don't have to go to school tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I gave myself E. coli so I could get out of school. We had a quiz. <laughs> Airbnb's daughter has a deal for five bucks, she'll do your laundry, but you won't fold it. I am where I am right now because of, of Best Buy. That's right. They oh. me and they've all their fault. Best Buy fucked you over. If that hadn't happened, I would have a really good job with them as like, an assistant manager. I could have made them a lot of money. I could have made Best Buy a lot of money. He could have brought a lot of money into Best Buy. It's a chain. <laughs> no. Now, why did they fire him? They're, just a, they're a dumb company to not see this guy's potential. <laughs> it was discrimination because he's a single male parent. That's right. Yeah. Who has no custody of his kid, That's by right. the way. Yeah. No, but it doesn't matter. He's still a good employee. But I do make fun of people that have kids. Like, what's with you? You don't even belong here with the rest of us. Oh, yeah. you do? Yeah, it's <laughs> my thing. <laughs> Who fucked this guy? Yeah, that's yeah, really. Yeah, I'd love that's, to see her. That's yeah. really the biggest failure of all, isn't Fuck it? Fucking Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. No, you think he's got something? I think he's probably a good employee. He would have made them a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that he said that not only did they fire him, if they hadn't fired me and also failed to promote me, that's right. right. You know, they were promote. They were discriminating. I don't know about you. I don't go to Best Buy now because of this. The only reason I don't go to yeah. Best Buy. I could watch people this delusional all day, though. It had I nothing to do with four employees in an entire five-story yeah. uh, store. I don't, I don't <laughs> know how to tell you this, there. Sam, but you do. <laughs> <laughs> That uh, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Good. My business is business to business IT. Oh. Yeah, growing. he's got it. The, the, oh. the attention has hurt my business. Oh, you I got a friend. A job, I guess, with a client. And then after that, after the news broke, I could not get them to respond to my emails. Right. I'm not Shit. afraid they of fucked you over. my future. Everything's going to work out. <laughs> Most men can what is he doing? Kill the chicken with a like stick? That's right. Yeah. Show show. Look at this guy. Here's three thousand dollars, my friend. Show that uh, you can hopefully get on your own feet. Don't Alex. give it money. For, for Alex is good people. For the show. Yeah, well, Alex, at least we know that Alex was not acting selfishly. Hey. Alex saw the potential. Hey, yeah. Alex is no Doug Benson. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you know, he's spreads it around. Alex a cares. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have to bring a gift. <laughs> <laughs> not a film. I'm not a. It's you got some place to be, Jimmy? Industry. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's <laughs> money, but like, I'm, I'm, where are you I'm off to? Doing all right. LA. Right. City of the Angels. Yeah. Money from Alice Jones. La La Land. Keep me yeah. Yeah. Water I say both of those things during the flight. Yeah. Look, if you get this fucking movie, everything changes for you. I know. This could be it. I know. This could be really, really big. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. What do you what are you auditioning for again? What's the role? It's uh, it's the sequel to Kinjite. <laughs> <laughs> sequel or prequel? Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's <a> prequel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. He was saying that the uh, his three thousand from Alex Jones yeah. is going to keep him above water until he gets his four hundred thousand from Best Buy. Sure. Good. Well, Best Buy lawsuits ironed out. So yeah. he's all he's all set. Sure. Uh huh. Uh, is ironed out. Weeks. Months. Can you months. stay as long as he wants? I guess Michael and I will talk about that. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Michael's been putting it to her. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? I think Michael's been fucking giving her a fucking you, box full of hog. You yeah. think that chicken's not the only thing Michael but, chases around with his stick? Not at all. I know. <laughs> Michael comes in with onion breath and gives her a fucking <laughs> box full of hog. Yeah. But, you know, like he says, asshole only. I'll do it, <laughs> but asshole only. Well, he can't have another kid. Yeah. No, sure. yeah, he's yeah, responsible he like responsible. that. He's mm-hmm. responsible. <laughs> it's funny, he doesn't bear any. He looks like my landlord. <laughs> So you you get bothered when you see people like that, yes. Just because of the attention he's getting and, and yeah, you know, well, and the people are just handing him money. What a yeah. mooch! Yeah, you'd, yeah, you'd love three grand just handed yeah. to you. I feel I the same way when I see somebody in a wheelchair or that has Tourette's. <laughs> I'm like, Absolutely. why is everything about them? Right. Yeah. Right. How can right. you get to say what you want not getting in trouble? Why can't I say cunt? <laughs> why, why do you why are you yelling nickels? <laughs> <laughs> also, everybody in a wheelchair's got to overcome something. Come on, just sit exactly, there. Exactly, a fucking yeah. curb. <laughs> 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 but it's always like rollerball, or you know, they right. gotta climb oh, down Everest. Oh, they start Everest. playing sports. Yeah, get out of here. Enjoy the downtime. Yeah. I wonder. I watched this. So the stock market opens when nine thirty. Mm-hmm. Has yeah. Best Buy plummeted? Travis, can you check that? Yeah. Has Best Buy plummeted since this story came out? Because this was I saw this for the first time last night. Yeah. 
So I'm assuming that maybe now that trading has begun, Best Buy is going to be in a lot of trouble. Looks like Travis is looking up. Yep, just it went uh, up. Let's see. Went up without him. Okay, Rob, you just checked. Well, they're anticipating nope, that he's rehired. Okay. Best, that he's be rehired. Best Buy wow. is Best Buy is actually up. Sirius is down. Best Buy is up. Oh, I guess we shouldn't have been talking about this kid after all. No, it was us <laughs> talking about it. They yeah, dropped us. 